this video, we're going to learn the basics of attacking and defending. We're going to have a Lofacer attack in Onimagatia. Let's review the Lofacer's card to see the range of his weapon. In this case, it's rod range 1 plus, meaning that horizontally he shoots one rod plus one. The Onimagatia is in range and nothing obstructs his view of her. Next, let's look at the Lofacer's card to determine his fight skill. We see that his fight skill is three, so we're going to draw three dominoes and use these to create his attack chain. The goal with the attack chain is to completely envelop our target and generally to put higher numbers next to each other. Now let's review the Onibagacious card for her defensive skills, her agility, and her tenacity. We see her agility is four and her tenacity is two. For each number in the chain, equal to or greater than her tenacity, that's going to score one power. So we've got one, two, three, four power. For each link where each side independently is equal to or higher than her agility, we're going to score one accuracy. That's going to be here where we've got a five and a four. Last, we're going to revisit power. Any link that creates both an accuracy and two power is going to have the power reduced by one. So in this case, we're going to have one, two, three, skip, three total power. This attack, therefore, is power 3, accuracy 1. Because the Lofacer was able to get the lock-on bonus, he's going to choose an extra power or an extra accuracy. Because the Info Ninjas are known for dodging, he'll add an extra accuracy, leaving this attack at power 3, accuracy 2. Now let's touch on the Onibagatia's options to defend. Onibagatia can pit her tenacity against the attack's power in a mitigating defense called bracing, or can pit her agility against the attack's accuracy in an all-or-nothing style of defense called dodging. Let's touch on each style of defense briefly. To brace, the Onibagatia will draw three dominoes equal to the power of the attack. Each domino, where the Onibagatia's tenacity is equal to or higher than both sides of the domino, will score her a defense point. In this case, she scores a defense point with this domino, but fails on this and this domino, because her tenacity of two is less than numbers that are on these dominoes. The result of the brace is she reduces the power by one and takes the remaining power as damage, in this case, two. Additionally, she's going to drop one information chip. The Lulfacer's controlling player will get to place that within one domino length of the character. If he was closer, he could actually place it on himself and immediately gain it. She drops this info chip whether or not she takes damage as a result of a brace style defense. Now let's review a dodge style defense. In this case, the Onibagatia will draw two dominoes because the accuracy was two. Her dodge succeeds because both dominoes meet the criteria that her agility is equal to or higher than all the numbers. The result, she drops no info chips, takes no damage, and can either begin overclocking, a powerful status in the game, or if already overclocking, can make a dodge, a one domino dodge move in any direction of her choice. If we assume that one of her dominoes failed and had a number higher than her agility, then the result would be different. She would take the full power of the attack as damage, in this case three, and would drop two info chips within a domino's length instead of merely one. Now that we've covered the basics of attacking and defending, let's touch on a few more scenarios in terms of attacking and locking onto a target. The Lulfacer had three dominoes to lock on with. If the Onimagatia was next to another character, three dominoes would be not enough to lock onto her. Alternatively, if she was close to a frame, such as this small frame, the attack chain would only be allowed to climb onto the frame if the Lulfacer could see the respective surface. In this case, the Lulfacer is unable to see this surface, so his attack chain cannot manage to get around the character because it cannot go on to the frame. However, if we move the frame so that he can see its surface, now his attack chain is allowed to snake onto it, allowing him to get the lock-on bonus. And that covers the basics of attacking, defending, and locking onto your target.